What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Today's video, fellas, is actually going to be a part two of the video I made called The Midlife Crisis Myth Exposed. And I caught a little heat for that video because what I talked about, what I explained, went very far away from conventional wisdom. And I received a comment from a female subscriber. Shout out to you who left me a comment down below that video. And I want to read it for you now, my response to that, and where we go from there. So the comment went as follows. Did you forget to mention that men also get bags under their eyes when they grow older? Men also turn gray? Did I mention receding hairline, erectile dysfunction? Just to mention a few things that come with getting older as a man. Where I come from. Older men that get with younger women are called blessers, and those types of relationships are not taken seriously. What do a 40-something-year-old have in common with a person born in 2000? Nothing. The relationship is pure transaction, no love there. My response to that was, because I don't want to be hostile to my female subscribers. I'm glad they're here. Let's start with where we agree. If you don't die beforehand, aging is inevitable. No argument there. But what we part ways is what aging means to men versus what it means to women. So, with that, here we go. Men and women could not be more different. The reason why we work at all is because of our polarity. It's like north and south on a magnet. And you can try to press south and south or north and north together, but it's going to be an extraordinarily difficult task. And the split second you let it go, those two things fly apart from each other because they repel. This is why women aren't normally attracted to extra feminine men you know, who wear dresses and put on cosmetics and put on, you know, RuPaul wigs. That's not what your average woman is into. And at the exact same time, masculine men who aren't pushovers, who don't like to get pegged, really aren't into these ball busting, butch acting boss babes who populate the West. They don't do it for us. Now, we might do it to them. If there's nothing else on TV, but they're not who we go after. And they're certainly not who we build a future with. So let's address this piece by piece. Physically, we couldn't be more different either. Because as mentioned in the previous video, women get their SMV. The things that allow them to parlay what they look like for goodies and or commitment to give them long term access to goodies come by how they look. A woman's appearance, this is her face, her hair, her physique and her feet for you feet guys. I ain't here to kink shame though. All depend upon how well she maintains these things. And how well she maintains those things is just how much access she's going to have to a big money guy. Remember, fellas, women want the highest status, highest income man they can attract and hopefully keep. Men want the most attractive woman who behaves herself that we can afford. That's the way it's always been. Nothing is ever going to change. Moreover, because women enter physical puberty years before their male counterparts, they've got a remarkable head start in finding out what they can leverage against men and the boys, because they're still teenagers at this point, for what they want. Attention, uh, get some some simp to do her homework that she's never going to sleep with. We've all seen it before. We've all been through it. You guys who were in high school remember what it was like to like that girl in your science class only to find out her boyfriend was a freshman in college. Risking his freedom because she looked like she ought to belong on campus with him too. They didn't look 13. They didn't look 14 or 15. Hell no. They looked like grown ass women in some cases. Some man at my school, you had girls so thick. You had teachers and security guards looking like, God damn, when they walked past, they couldn't help themselves. 
because men like what we see. So they get that early and they use that early. But the problem is like anything that's finite in nature, it eventually runs out. You see, fellas, women are born with every egg they're ever going to have the day they get here. When the doctors cut her umbilical cord, that's all the eggs she's got. And when they're gone, they're gone. But men don't have any sperm in our body until we reach puberty at 13, 14, 15 years old. And we can produce semen until the day we die. Decades from now, we are not the same. The receding hairline, the... What did she say again? The receding hairline, the... <laughs> bags under the eyes... Listen, women have the advantage slash disadvantage of having their looks be their, their foot in the door. Men, on the other hand, can use looks if we got them. We can use physique if we build it. But for the most part, a man has a whole lot more to bring to the table that can attract a mate that has nothing to do with his appearance. How many beautiful young women are sitting on a yacht right now off of Miami, off of Mykonos in Greece. Beautiful. And the guy who owns the boat is fat as hell with three hairs on top of his head like Homer Simpson. It's not our looks that they're after, gentlemen. I mean, the help. Don't misunderstand me. Take care of your skin. Take care of your physique. Eat right. Drink a lot of water. But what I'm saying is there are no such things as ugly millionaires or billionaires when those millionaires and billionaires have penises. If you've got status, if you've got money, and if you care at all about how you look, you're going to be fine. Women, on the other hand, can get all the degrees and all the money that they want, all the fame, the status. Doesn't mean a damn thing to a man. No man has ever reached up a woman's blouse or skirt looking for her college degree. Guaranteed. We're not the same. And then she mentioned erectile dysfunction well. With vacuum pump technology, wave technology, not to mention things like uh, Sidenafil or Viagra and Cialis. There's a lot of ways around that last one. So medical technology in the 21st century has really taken that hindrance and crutch off the table in large part. However, there's so many men in, in sexless marriages right now. So that may not even be an issue as well because it's just a thing that's convenient. And she mentioned, again, no shade, no hate. Thank you for being here. What women want from men could not differ more than what men want from women. See, one would hope that a man of either middle or old age would be mindful of his health because health is wealth. He should be mindful of his diet because that directly affects his blood flow. Blood flows equal erections. Erections equal a good time for your lady friend. So I'm fine with that. Every guy should be mindful of that. Watch what he eats. Stay the hell away from Krispy Kreme unless once a month because I love that place, but they're, they're not good for me. But men and women couldn't be more different. As mentioned before, women are gifted with well over 90 percent of their SMV well into their early teenage years. Once they figure out how to do their makeup, how to do their hair, the right outfit to wear. Because trust me, if a woman's got big boobs and no booty, she's going to wear the type of tops and the certain type of bras to make that her showpiece. Same time, for flat-chested girls with big old booties, they're going to wear the kind of shirts and push-up bras that make it look like not so obvious. While at the same time, wearing the perfect jeans, skirts, and dresses to make that booty the showpiece. That's going to be what a woman focuses on. Now, if she's a, double, a triple threat, looks, booty. Boobs, okay, cool. She got she can work that part out and use that to her advantage in the sexual marketplace. And I got no problem with that. Use what you got while you got it, because gravity will one day come knocking and pay all that visit. So, okay, so my biggest point is we're out here doing this, this song and dance of modern dating that only benefits women. Men don't benefit from this, with the exception of the hookup culture. You know, think about it. If you have a girl who decides to take you up on your offer for going out to dinner, you don't know if she's really into you or not if you haven't been paying attention. And so you take her to dinner. And these modern women, especially here in the West, they do what I call the dinner time pump fake. That means they talk all that 
that yang yang about how strong and independent they are, how much of a boss they are. Right up until the check hits the table. And then they'll pump fake their credit card to act like they're going to pay for their half. It's a game, fellas. Understand this. If a woman doesn't beat your credit card to the table, slapping it down onto the bill and then passing it to the waitress before you can even get your freaking wallet out. If she doesn't do that, she's playing a game. Take it accordingly. Right. You see, over the past 60 years. There's been a precipitous decline in the quality of Western women due to vaginal Marxism, which is often nicknamed feminism. And look, before somebody completely embarrasses themselves down in the comment section about the quality of Western men, let's get three things crystal clear. Number one, men are visually stimulated. Number two, men are adaptive to our surroundings and circumstances. And three, my favorite, men are incentive based creatures. With women embracing the sex positive movement, that made courtship a thing of the past largely. We don't have to meet your family. We don't have to get your dad's approval. We don't have to wait until wedding night. None of that stuff is on the table anymore because women want to go out here and pretend that they're men. Completely overlooking the fact that their bodies produce different chemicals when that action takes place. This is why guys don't like women with high body counts because they're oxytocin. The chemical they release upon orgasm is the bonding hormone they also release that hormone during breastfeeding to bond with the child over and over and over again as the body counts pile up your ability to bond with a man becomes lesser and lesser so men understand this we see the marketplace as for what it is most men would like a traditional situation, but hey, if you're tossing it out like a Frisbee, I'll gladly catch it in most cases. So men adapt to their surroundings. I don't have to meet your folks no more. I don't have to take you out on dates anymore. All I got to do is download an app on my phone and swipe right and you'll be over here in an hour and a half. We can smash it out. I don't got to know your last name. Psh, a lot less expensive than a four month, eight month, three year courtship, isn't it? When we are faced with difficulty, we rise to the occasion to overcome it. That's why the world looks like it does today and not a network of, work of caves and tree houses. And we are incentive based creatures. If we don't have something to strive for, striving will not happen. So, ladies, if you give it out like candy on Halloween, do not expect us to go the extra mile to attain it. So, listen. Saying all that to say this, gentlemen, women got a head start on us. There's no reason to hate them for it. It's just nature. The problem is vaginal Marxism teaches these young women to throw away the best years of their lives when they will never be more attractive than they are right now. It's only downhill because beauty is perishable. Like fresh fruit in the grocery store. It can't stay fresh forever. When you buy fruit, when you buy vegetables, you have to eat them quickly. Or else you have a house full of fruit flies. So, women used to understand that when you are at your most fertile, when you are at your most beautiful, when gravity has no idea your boobs exist, that's when you lock down the highest value guy and build a future with that guy. Women used to understand this. They've lost touch. Because they've bought the lie. Fellas. Everything about you. Women like. Unless you hit the genetic lottery. In terms of looks. And maybe you had a. Great genetics as far as your physique goes. But for the most part. A regular guy. Has to really be on top of his skin care. Has to be really on top of his haircuts. And his, his facial grooming. As far as his facial hair goes. He has to be on top of his physique in that gym. Or at the very least. Busting his ass at the local play park doing calisthenics and pull-ups on the, on the monkey bars. He has to get out here and grind for that money. And put a roof over his head. And a reliable form of transportation out in the driveway. That's what we got to do. Because that's what they're looking for. And it's never going to change. I don't care how much of a boss she pretends she is. So. With that said. 
That's my time. Like the video. Comment down below. Share with a friend and subscribe. Remember, fellas. Your time is later. Her time was as far back as age 12. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Network as we working. Till next time.